Hey Pisces, how are you? My name is Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. We are going to do your spread this week, Pisces, with the Rider Weight deck. Rider Weight. Looks like that's a good idea. It looks like that's a good idea for us. We're going very traditional, very traditional for you this week, Pisces. It feels like someone's trying to mess with you, Pisces. That's what it feels like. I don't know if it's like an actual person in your environment that is trying to mess with you, like playing, feels like playing games, playing head games. I don't know if it's like that devilish sort of energy coming in, but someone's trying to mess with you, play games with you, throw you off of your game. Yeah, throw you off of your game, Pisces. And it's really, um, I'm almost hearing like shields up, like shields up. Like now's a good time to sort of protect your energy. I mean, we just had the new moon in Scorpio. There's, we've had a few void moons. Like there's like a lot, there's like a lot going on astrologically speaking, spiritually, in terms of like the heavens and all, all that kind of stuff. There, there's a lot going on. So now is a really good time to sort of um, uh, protect, preserve your energy. Um, you might be feeling kind of tired. Now would probably be a good time if you're feeling extra tired to get your extra rest in. Um, give your body sort of a break a little bit, Pisces. But um, it does feel like someone's trying to mess with you. And it really is sort of... Um, uh, it feels a little bit like a battle. Like, are you going to let this energy, whether it's spiritual, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation, whatever it is, are you going to let it like get your goat? Are you going to let it get your goat? And now I'm seeing like the sea goat, which is like Capricorn energy. The moon goes into Capricorn today. So hopefully that will really help like ground your energy as well this week, at least today. It's 17th. It's the 17th, I believe. So what's so it's November. So what is that? one 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 seven one 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 seven so that might be something for you i believe that came through in the libra reading in the libra reading um and libra represents justice so there could be something about like uh, maintaining balance like don't do don't let anyone do like a disjustice or a disservice to you by letting them like throw you off your game throw you off kilter something in that Father God, thank you for being here with me and Pi me and my Pisceans. I ask that you bless these messages and you cover these cards. I ask that you allow me to speak with wisdom and clarity in our highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you and we thank you always to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's messing with you. I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel like a good energy. It's like... It's like a mixed bag between like feeling kind of sad and then like feeling kind of annoyed and like aggravated, like irritated. Hermit in reverse, coming out of hiding, coming out of hiding, out of a isolation reflection point. Six of cups in reverse. I'm seeing like, um, like something scurrying like out of a hole, like out of a hole. Almost like mole rats, mole rats, moles. What's a mole? A mole is like a spy, right? It's like an undercover spy. And a rat, we kind of know what a rat is. That's someone like playing two sides of the fence, sort of like a faux kind of energy. Empress, interesting. So I'm getting the impression, Pisces, that you're coming into the knowledge or your intuition is being confirmed that perhaps because it's hermiting energy in reverse, it literally feels like something crawling. And I want to go like this, like crawling out of a hole that perhaps is making you realize that something or someone is not actually like a true soulmate is not like really on your side. Someone's like not really for you. They've kind of been working against you, not so much for you. And again, it's like this mole, this like mole kind of spy energy a little bit like that it's um it's a little bit of like an energy that perhaps someone's like with all this retrograde stuff happening that someone's like come back around for you or or kind of popped up again or you've tried to um that's kind of funny you know sometimes in order for us to kind of be in proper alignment move forward um be able to like be open to receiving our blessings sometimes we we have to deal with uh um, like feelings of unforgiveness that we have in our heart, right? For other people, like make peace with the past, like do that whole kind of things. And a lot of times when that happens, those situations, those people, those environments, they kind of pop back up, right? And because we've now sat in a place of 
forgiveness and acceptance and empathy and accountability and all that stuff then especially like as a Pisces which can be like a little bit of like a wishy-washy sign right like very easily like kind of brought back into the mix um it could lead to an energy of really wanting to like give it another go or like that's such a Piscean energy right that um sometimes those situations pop back up for us to then communicate to someone else like hey like we're civil clearly air like I got nothing but love for you my friend but you know but then also create that boundary of like yes I forgive you I can move forward we've made peace with the past but no like you can't come back in like no we're not going to get back together no we're not going to collaborate again like you know but a lot of times Pisces will kind of go back because now they're sitting in that like open loving receiving space and perhaps in that may have happened for you it's I'm feeling like that happened for you and then um this person was almost like almost like observing you it's like again this mole spy energy like someone came back around after you kind of made peace with the past and they were observing you Pisces to kind of see like what your limits what your boundaries were and then someone pushed it like someone pushed your boundaries someone pushed your limits and it's really irritating you it's really irritating you it's almost like they were looking for your weaknesses and they kind of found it but you have this empress card coming out next so this person may have come around to realize that in fact like you are the empress like you are sitting in a lot of power you are sitting in a lot of authority a lot of god given god anointed authority right very fertile very abundant with the ability to to create to nurture to birth a lot of things kind of sitting sitting on your throne sitting in your power sitting in your potential I just heard some things never change some things never change chariot yeah chariot in reverse Okay. 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 <laughs> Things are flying. Things are flying. And now I'm actually seeing someone like having like a fight in a house and like throwing things, like throwing things. Yeah, this all feels connected to this this six of cups in reverse. So the chariot in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Moon in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. And the King of Cups upright. So, like I said, someone, something kind of came back around. And some things never changed, Pisces, is what it feels like, right? And they kind of scurried out of the hole there, observing you, realize like, oh, snap, Pisces has kind of got it all going on. Pisces is really sitting in their power and their potential right now. All the while, it almost feels like a ruse. It honestly feels like a ruse, like a sick joke or something. Because with this Chariot and this... um queen of pentacles in reverse it's almost the idea that despite seeing how much power and potential that you had they almost didn't really like suspect it feels a little you know, like the moon is in capricorn this feels a little bit like the capricorn reading they almost just kind of assumed that like you weren't going to get anywhere because perhaps they thought that you were still a little codependent you were a little codependent because the queen of pentacles is a very independent energy right like she can make her own money she can nurture she can provide she can do all of that stuff she's very grounded she's very rooted somebody really um mistook you for not being able to have forward movement movement in your life because they thought that you were still perhaps sitting in codependent energy that you weren't anymore right and with this moon in reverse it's telling me that they were very very certain they were very very certain they thought that they like kind of had you all figured out right perhaps out of observing you like seeing how like open and warm and loving you were right like sitting in this beautiful divine feminine energy they were like really certain about that and with the four of cups in reverse they um they were really thinking like oh pisces not like over this like pisces isn't still mad pisces isn't fuming about this old situation pisces isn't holding any other grudges right it's it's not like that and they were kind of presenting themselves as a king of cups so someone that is um very like emotionally like available somebody that's kind of emotionally vulnerable somebody that's in control of their emotions somebody that um is um able to um handle emotions very very well right like i'm i'm the king of the emotional realm like absolutely like i'm your six of cups like coming through is like very confident that they knew what you wanted in which to offer it like this big cup right here 
You know, it's funny though, because I'm looking at these little cups and it's almost like they were kind of offering you this ace of cups, right? But if you look at it, it looks empty, but it's almost the sense that like they have this little flask right here full of like the actual juice and what they were offering you was like an empty cup. Yeah, just as I was thinking. It's just really the energy of like this person really felt like they kind of had you all figured out, Pisces. They thought they had you all figured out that like not much had changed with you, that maybe like you had leveled up in some way, but like some things never changed. Like Pisces is as Pisces does, like some things never change. They didn't realize with the eight of swords in reverse that you would actually really cut yourself free again from like codependencies and yes, from unforgiveness and grudges and all of that stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. But they really like thought, especially with, swords being like air logic energy they really thought that like you were still like kind of um easily swayed like double-minded sort of double-minded but they don't know that you cut yourself free from that nine of swords it was really hard for you to do that though it was really really hard for you to do that and to kind of stick with that um because the Nine of Swords, this is like a nightmare card, bad dreams, kind of stress, sort of anxious, right? And I always say that these swords are kind of like remembrances, remembrances of um, like every like traumatic thing that had ever happened to you, like heartbreaks, like all of that kinds of stuff, all of that kind of stuff. But the difference between the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords for me, it's that extra sword, that Ace of Swords being the clarity, um, the, the knowledge, the illumination of the fact that it's within your power to sort of cut yourself free from the past, right? They didn't realize that. They thought you were sitting in this, not realizing that you had that Ace of Swords energy to kind of cut yourself loose, cut yourself loose from this situation. Four of Swords, and you've been resting, that's the thing. Like I said, maybe you've been like tired and you, like now's a good time for you to take your extra rest. Now's a good time for you to take your extra rest because I think, um, yeah, I'm hearing it's like, I can't believe that people like act like that. That's like coming out of your energy that I think perhaps if you are sitting in a little bit of like the, the anxious, bad dreams, nine of swords and like feeling the need to four swords, it could be just like your spirit sort of telling you like, just take like a little rest, like just recuperate from this because it is a disappointment. It is a disappointment that someone would try and like do you dirty like this. That's honestly what it feels like. It's almost like a misjudgment. It's like, how can I let myself think that just because, you know, time has passed and like I've changed, like not a leopard doesn't change its spots. That's what I'm hearing. Like a leopard doesn't really change its spots. So as like I said, especially when you sit in an energy of like having like forgiveness for someone and then they come back and then you try and be like open and receptive to them and then they kind of do the same thing to you again that they did in the past you feel a little you feel a little dumb right like you feel a little bit like you like you played yourself a little bit like I can't believe people still do this like I can't believe they would do that to me and then you're annoyed because you're like but that's what they did in the past so why didn't I know better so that's part of like this resting energy as well it's also um uh, being able to have forgiveness for yourself right now as well and also reminding yourself that like you are you are the empress like you are fertile and beautiful and abundant and you can have a big and blessed life you know and if people want to come in and do stuff then they come in and do stuff but it doesn't it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day like you're an overcomer that's what a pisces does a pisces is like cream it always rises to the top because then you have the ten of wands attached to this two of cups energy again six of cups over here it's like a burdensome union it's a burdensome partnership friendship old relationship x whatever it may be for you right again it was like they they really misjudged you they misjudged you but at the same time you sort of misjudged them too because you thought that they had done the same kind of soul growth and work that you had done right because you were sitting in such an energy of forgiveness and openness and receptivity but in actuality like they they didn't right and that's their free will that's their free will choice everybody's on a different process in their journey but um, kind of forgiving yourself and resting from the burdens that had come because you earn these wands one at a time at a time at a time at a time you don't get the whole bunch at once right so this is almost like going but a 10 is also um the end right so this is again making that decision to kind of wrap it up just kind of like that that's a wrap i'm hearing like that's a wrap and i'm seeing like the one of those um scene one of those scene things with the black and white stripes right and that's kind of what i'm seeing like that's a wrap Six of Swords, beautiful. Moving into calmer waters. Moving into calmer waters. Your masculine energy, your feminine energy, and your your inner child, right there. 
Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Page of Cups and Ten of Swords in reverse. Again, 10, 10. Two endings, two endings. It's not only like a physical ending. I feel like a final, like that's a, that's a wrap on this situation with this person after realizing that like they're always going to kind of do the same thing, right? Putting down those burdens, but also with the Page of Cups. Pages are student energy. It's looking at things from like a new perspective as well. Not looking at this person, at this situation in a new way. Not like being like, um, you know what, I'm going to give them another chance. Like, I'm just going to, and just be like, nope, you know what, I'm just going to put down all the anxieties. I'm going to put down all the burdens. It, you know, it wasn't what I thought it was, but I'm going to move into smoother, smoother waters. I'm going to rest. I'm going to remind myself how abundant, how capable, how much potential that I have, right? It's like, I'm not going to start walking on a new love journey with this mole rat, I guess is what we're going to call him, you know, because then you have the six of wands. This is victory. This is success. This is recognition. Also, um, part of this recognition, the success is, um, being able to be proud of yourself for not letting them totally throw you off your game for a long time and like kind of move on, right? Cause he's on a horse and horses represent freedom. So it's like that, keep it on, keep it on energy, being gentle with yourself, giving yourself time to kind of rest from that right but at the same time kind of recognizing that you have the ability to kind of move forward and set boundaries and and not return to people places and things that perhaps you would have more easily in the past two of swords in reverse kind of taking the blinders off finding success and victory for yourself by at least like being honest with yourself being honest with yourself that's going to bring you joy because it's like at least you know at least you're not um like deceiving yourself you're not deceiving yourself anymore and with this two of swords the two of swords upright is also very closed off energy it's also finding victory and success in the sense of like i'm not going to blind myself i'm not going to put the blinders on to this person anymore but i'm also not going to keep myself closed off to the idea that like there is like male or female and an emperor energy out there with me that will meet me like a true equal like a true equal for myself so I can kind of move forward victoriously knowing that I'm being honest with myself about this but also not keep myself closed off to possibilities in the future that like something better yeah beautiful look ace of cups on its side when cards for me as a reader come out on their side talks about a lot of free will choice right so that's exactly what I'm saying kind of knowing that it's your choice whether or not you want to maintain like an energy of of being closed being cold to things that could come forward for you in the future knowing that that success in an ace of cups situation is really comes down to a matter of your own perspective a matter of your own perspective it's like just because it didn't work with one person or you try to give them another shot and it, it didn't pan out and you know leopard doesn't change its spots it doesn't mean that everyone in the future is going to be bad it doesn't mean that your past does not dictate your future like things can get better you can meet an equal there's this big energy of like meeting someone that isn't equal to you this card seems like it really wants to come out Three of Pentacles in reverse. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay, yeah, beautiful. So three of Pentacles in reverse. I guess what you weren't working on anymore. Weren't, you weren't working on anymore. And it's a Seven of Cups, right? The Seven of Cups represents having a lot of different options. Having a lot of different options. But normally you're looking at all these different options because you're not happy with the options that you have. You're not happy with the options that you have. So it's almost a sense that um, you're not going to go running around looking for a Band-Aid. You're not going to go running around looking at different options. One, to, to rectify whatever this is over here. Um, but also not running around looking for a Band-Aid. Something to just like soothe you. It's almost like a rebound. Like not looking for like a rebound kind of energy. Because then you have the Knight of Pentacles out next. Now this is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. This guy moves like molasses. He does. But when he shows up, he actually has something to offer. Pentacle, time, energy, investment, right? The kind of the building blocks, the building bricks of, of like a future, right? Of a bridge, of, of a castle, of a kingdom, of whatever it is for you. It's almost like I'm not going to work on like finding a rebound. Like it's almost like I don't need to bounce back. Like I'm the empress, like I know that I'll be fine. And like, it's almost like I'll wait. It might take me a little while for this, for this guy to ride into town, but I'll wait for someone that will actually like be able to offer me like what I actually want. Strength in reverse, even though it's hard, even though it's hard. And it also, um, I'm also getting the idea that 
it's hard and it puts you up against like your pride a little bit it puts you up against your pride a little bit because like i said pisces you're you're mutable and you're so emotional and it's like you just want someone to like snuggle and it's cuffing season and it's like i get it right like it's it's easy to just try to like roll over into like you know what do they say the best way of getting over someone is like getting under someone else it's like that band-aid rebound feeling you're like i'd rather just not do that and wait for someone else that can actually offer me what i want even though it's really hard and it puts me against my pride a little bit because then you have to sit in your nine of pentacles right now the nine of pentacles this is pre-empress energy this is single this is like it's hard to be single because it, it, it invokes these feelings of maybe I'm not good enough or maybe I'm not worthy or maybe like nobody wants me right it like kind of it stirs that up in the ego a little bit but if it does that it's just for you to then kind of prey on it and then like confirm to yourself that like you are worthy and you are deserving and there's a difference between being alone and being lonely right there is a difference in that and it's really um almost like in investing in yourself having to be strong enough right struggling with that a little bit to invest in yourself in your own nine of pentacles in being single and in being independent and in being stable having your own foundation having your own security being happy all by yourself all by yourself like i said fish like to swim in schools but like i also said in the beginning pisces often thrive better when they're they're in their own aquarium when they're in their own aquarium because pisces are very emotional Pisces are very dreamy. Pisces, um, it's very easy for Piscean energy to compare and to contrast to other people and need validation and need um, uh, uh, like advice from other people and need other people to like hype them up and like do the whole thing. Like it's very easy for a Pisces to do that. That's why Pisces does best on their own. Not that you'll always have to be alone, right? But it's about re um, reinforcing your your own internal um worth and integrity and your own character and your own goals and your own ethics and your own morality and all of that stuff so that way when someone comes to meet you right then they are actually um a compliment to you they are your equal and they're not something that all of a sudden like you're going to absorb like a pisces is like a sponge right you're going to absorb their morals their ethics their interests what they like to do on a sunday right like you can still maintain your own identity your own independence even if you're with other people five of cups in reverse and not feeling like um coming out of feelings of like spilt milk like beating yourself up for like bad investments or spending time or um it's that energy of um if somebody else doesn't see the value in you that doesn't take away your value and i pulled this card and the first thing i heard was just remind yourself that the trash takes itself out just remind yourself that the trash takes itself out pisces look at that hangman in reverse not being indecisive not being hung up right on people, places, and things that don't want you or aren't invested in you or don't see you as valuable, don't see you as an asset, that don't see you and treat you as the empress, male or female energy that you are. Look, star, because you are a star. You are something that's special. You are someone's wish fulfillment and you have a lot of wishes and dreams and goals and aspirations that you can do all on your own, Pisces, in your own little aquarium right here, right? That's This is also stars, Aquarian energy. It also speaks a lot of um, like that balancing energy as well. We're moving into Sagittarius season, which is like a lot of temperance coming into, right? Almost um, tempering your, your fears of like success, your fears of success. Because oftentimes, like I said, Pisces swim best. They thrive best in their own aquarium because it's very common for people to look at a Pisces accomplishments and be like, I help Pisces do that. Pisces was weak. Pisces needed advice. Pisces needed support. Pisces needed this. Pisces needed that. And so sometimes God really puts Pisces all by themselves. So that way, when you, like I said, Pisces is like cream. When you rise to the top, no one can say that they helped you, that they got you there, that you can sit there on your own two feet in your own nine of pentacles and be like, you know what? It was just me and God, baby. The only person that helped me get here was God. And that's it. And that's also how we glorify him in all of his ways. So there's something in that for you yeah the <laughs> king of pentacles king of pentacles keeps wanting to come out and remember a true pair a true equal to pisces so that's what we got going on for you we worked through a little bit of that yucky energy so hopefully that that helped you a little bit you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine cut the ties lick the wounds keep it moving she got a lot of good stuff in store for you i could see that so I hope this was helpful to you. Um, thank you guys for liking and sharing and subscribing. If you're interested in daily, weekly, and monthly content, 
That is on the Patreon linked in the description box. My Instagram is also in the description box with my email for personal readings and all the decks that I use in case you want to get them for yourselves. And until I see you next time, stay prayed up, stay blessed, keep swimming. Keep swimming, Pisces.